So in Affinity Designer, there's only four types of gradients you can apply to an object. You have linear, elliptical, radial, and conical. There's no direct way to take a gradient and bend it along a path as you can see that I've done here in this example graphic. However, there is a workaround using quick effects, which I will be demonstrating in this tutorial. And as you can see here, I have a regular circular path where the gradient is bent along that path. And this will allow you to create all kinds of things like rainbows and three-dimensional text and so on and so forth. So let's get started. I'm gonna open a new document and size it at 1,000 by 1,000 pixels. And then I'm going to grab the circle tool and I'll hold shift and click and drag to create a circle. Let me place this on the center of my document. And then I'm going to remove the fill color and I'm gonna apply a stroke. And I'm gonna make this stroke large, maybe even larger than that. I'm gonna go with 150. And then I'm gonna come over here to quick effects and I'm looking for the outline quick effect. I'm gonna tick that box to enable it. And then I will take the radius handle and bring that up about three quarters of the way. And I'm gonna click this gear icon right here which will allow us to edit the properties of this quick effect. So let me move this over and position this right next to it. So over here where it says uh, alignment, I'm gonna change this from outside to inside. And where it says fill style, I'm gonna change it from solid color to contour. And what contour does, as you can see there, is it takes this gradient and wraps it along this path. Now, if I make this large enough, you can see it takes up the entirety of that path. So make sure you adjust this so that it closes in all the way. That black gap in there represents the stroke color of the object we just created. And you can get rid of that by bringing this up about that far. And there we go, now you can't see it. And if you wanna edit this gradient, you just click on this box right here. And now we have these uh, stops that we can edit. I'm gonna click on this first stop right here, which is the black one. And I'm gonna change the color of this to something like that. And then I'll come over here and click on that stop and I'll change the color of this one to something like this over here. And I'll make this a lighter shade. And you could change the offset between these two colors using this handle in the center here. So if you want there to be more of the color on the left, you could bring that handle to the right. And if you want there to be more of the color on the right, you could bring that to the left and so on and so forth. Now, if you wanna add additional colors to this, what you could do is just double click on the path right there or on the line and now you have an additional stop that you can go and change the color of. So I'm gonna leave that color as it is and I'm gonna make this one a different shade, maybe something like purple. And then I'm gonna adjust the positions of these stops. And as you can see, as I move them around, it's changing the appearance of the gradient on the path. And I'll do something like that. And then you can adjust this further if you'd like. And once you're finished, make sure, make sure to tick this box right here that says scale with object. I'm gonna enable that and then I'll click close. And if you notice, if I go to scale this object, you can see what happens. The black stroke starts to appear as I size it. So one way, one quick little workaround for this is I'm gonna go back into the quick effects settings and let me open this gradient again. And I wanna take this color that's all the way on the right and I'm gonna open that and I'm gonna choose the HSL color wheel, and I wanna copy this code right here. This is the hex code for this color, and then we can close out of that. And now we're just gonna make the stroke the same, so the same uh, shade using that hex code. So I'll enable the stroke, and I'll just paste that in there. And there we go. Now we can make this and change the size as we'd like. And if you need to adjust the position of the gradient, you could just come back over here to the quick effect, and you can edit that as needed. And if I go to layer and choose convert to curves, I can take the nodes and move them around. You can see the gradient moves along with the path. In fact, I could break this path, uh, break curve, and now I have two different sides right there. And now you have a gradient that goes along with your path. If you haven't done so already, be sure to join my mailing list to receive over 200 free design templates, including logos, avatars, infographics, textures, and so much more. As a subscriber, you'll be the first to receive the free templates that I send out each month. I'll have some information about that down below if you wanna check that out. And as always, thanks for watching.